what do we have going on here? What in the world? All right, we got a two for one today. We are going to do a beer of the weekend. And we are also going to do a video on Project Sin. It's been a while since I've done a video on Project Sin. So long that it may not be even recognizable. Hopefully that wind is not too windy. So, we have a Copperhead Pell Ale. Free State Beer. Free State Brewing Company. This is out of Kansas. Let's see here. Say where? Free State Brewing Company, established in 1989, is the original craft brewery in the Great Plains region. We continue to enjoy exploring both new and traditional flavors and beers and pairing them with good food. Lots of laughter and lively conversations. Brewed and bottled by Free State Brewing Company, Lawrence, Kansas. Lawrence, Kansas. So I got this while I was in Kansas. What was that last month? So, let's get this over with. I said that like it was a bad thing. It's not. I just hope this video is not too windy. Pale Ale. All right. It smells similar to an IPA. It is a pale L. Not an Indian pale L, but a pale L. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is between a regular pale L and an Indian pale L is. I'm sure somebody could tell you. Just a bit hoppy smelling. So, let's try it out. A copper colored beer inspired by our brewer's remarkable strike by a feisty reptile. Citrus hoppy notes. So yes, it is a little bit hoppy, perhaps too hoppy for those who like regular light beers, not full flavored bodied beers, such as Miller Lights and Bud Lights and such. This is a bit hoppy. Uh, not as hoppy as a lot of the Indian Pale Ales I've had, but this is getting there. So if you like IPAs, I think you would definitely like this. Other than that uh, hoppiness, it's a fine tasting beer. So I picked this up. My uh, father had some of these in the fridge. Um, so he gave me a couple of these uh, Free State beers. So, for the beer, what are we going to give this a rating for? For beers overall, I'm not going to rate this against IPAs. For beers all overall, on my taste buds, I would give this a 7 out of 10. Just a bit hoppy for me. But a good beer. And like I said, I've had a, a, a couple other Free State beers and they were good. Um, yeah. So as a brewery altogether, it's a good brewery. Uh, they make some good beers. Alright, on to Project Sin. A lot has changed 
on this truck. I will, and I did not document hardly any of it uh, since the last time we viewed this. Uh, picked this truck up, got this truck a couple years ago from a good friend. And since then I've done quite a few things. Um, so noticeably on the outside, I changed the color. This is khaki, Rust-Oleum khaki, rattle can khaki. Coated it all. Uh, did the bumper. Uh, this is chain link fence post. All of this is chain link fence post. The roof rack is chain link fence post. Uh, so it was free. So I utilized that. Same thing I did the front deck railing with. So I used that, bent it some, cut it, made me a nice bumper with some nice lights up front. Uh, helps see out here in the country. Those deer on the side of the road, that really helped out a lot. Um, and then I did the roof rack out of the same stuff. That's just the look I was going for. I can haul metal now. Ladders, you know, you have a 10 foot ladder or You've got some uh, two by fours, you go to Lowe's and pick those up. I can throw those on the top of that and strap them down. It's not completely done. Uh, wheels, I painted those black, cleaned those up and painted those black. Um, I did the bed in black. Gotta do the bottom floor. Gotta clean it up and do it. That's on the agenda. Um, got most of the inside to my liking other than the steering wheel uh, I either want to get a new steering wheel or I want to get a nice red wrap to match the interior that I painted you saw the video where I painted some of the trim well I went back painted the rest of that added some flare uh, over the weekend I installed a CB and I installed the CB antenna it took me a minute to get that tuned. I was have, having trouble. If you do the CBs, you know about the SWR. Uh, so you have channel one and channel 40 and you wanna get those tuned close together. Uh, it took me, a, took me a little bit and some research to figure out how to do that. But uh, I think we're good on it. I think we got that all figured out. So the roof rack, there's some more things I wanna do. I wanna install uh, Maybe put a place to install a gas can. Uh, I'm making this kind of like an overlanding slash off-road vehicle, even though it's really not. But uh, I'm out here in the woods, so it's nice to drive through fields and down dirt roads and may go camping out of it. I'd like to get a, uh, a tarp. My idea is to get a tarp that I can drape over the roof rack maybe add some extensions some removable extensions on the back and I can spread it out over and actually camp either in the bed of the truck or on a cot under that tarp uh, next to a fire that'd be cool we may do that sometime maybe next beer of the weekend will be uh, camping uh, truck camping out somewhere out in the woods with a fire so uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to give you a tour of the truck, a roundabout, since it's been a while. Last time it was red and had some rust up top. So I've been, you know, the name of the channel is Camping Out of Debt. So did some budget customizing on this. It doesn't take a lot of money to uh, make a vehicle look good. Well, at least I think it looks good. I'm kind of partial to it, but so good beer. Uh, nice talking to you. Give you a tour around the truck. Thanks for watching.
So my lovely skull there is covering up a large crack on the dash. So I uh, utilized that to cover that crack up. Other than that, the dash is in pretty good shape. Got my Hirsch shifter knob. That makes it go a lot faster. All right, here we are with the outside. Rims painted black, roof rack. I left the uh, lunatic cam stickers on there. They add character. Bent friender left it on there. Project Sin. Eventually, I would like to get some uh, aftermarket steel wheels, something that's wider, and put uh, a little more aggressive tread on there. There's the antenna, CB antenna install. And last but not least, it wouldn't be complete without some scary airbrush skulls and etc. I may do some of that on the hood in the tailgate. I haven't decided yet. But there it is, budget-friendly Project Sin. Let's see if I can get this set. Project Sin. Oh, and I chopped the uh, muffler off. It was about to fall off, so I cut it off, and I want to run it right in front of that tire there. But uh, thanks for watching.